Sometimes the artist throws out a dumb idea that you might think isn't that cool, but if you can approach it from a standpoint of being versatile and being uh, improv improvisive, uh, <laughs> yo, what's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Now I know y'all probably wonder, like, yo, where where YCB? Man, I be taking these little hiatuses, but I shot a music video. All right. That's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about how you can make your running gun music videos a little bit better because if it were up to me, I would plan every single one of my music videos. But sometimes you get these artists, they want to hit you up a day or two before and you got to come up with a concept and a plan, locations and all this other stuff. So if you keep these tips in mind, it will help you in that process when you have minimal time for planning. I know this sounds kind of counterintuitive for a running gun music video, but it doesn't matter. For me, if I'm shooting any sort of music video, I'm bringing a light, I'm bringing lighting. Might be as small as an Aperture MC, might be as big as an Aperture 300X. Like this music video right here, it would have been trash and it wouldn't have been anything without lighting. You have to bring lighting. Lighting completely transforms scenes and music videos and moods and all of that. So regardless if it's a running a music video or not, bring lighting. The lighting we use for this video are the Astaire AX1 tubes. And I rented these, they're like 200 bucks for a weekend on peer space depending on where you are you know it might eat at your music video budget a little bit but get lights they will completely transform and sometimes even make your music video like this one these lights made this music video so bring lighting you have to a lot of times you see you know i guess up and comers doing running on music videos right and when i look at these videos they don't necessarily be bad. They just be kind of boring because people don't get enough coverage. So when you shoot and running on music videos, you got to keep in mind, the majority of the time, you're not going to be telling no story. It's just going to be performance heavy. So you have to get as many shots of everything as you can. That's down to performances, down to B-roll. Film as many different angles and focal length changes as you can for your music video. Film the wide shot, film the medium shot, film the close-up shot, film the B-roll shot, film the B-roll of the location, the artist doing whatever, film all of that stuff. Because at the end of the day, a running a music video majority of the time is just a bunch of performances. And you have to make the viewer feel like they're looking at more than what you're offering. Keep them engaged and interested in the video to the end. You can do that by getting coverage. So film a lot of different stuff, film everything you can. This music video that I shot for T Crooks, man, that I, I didn't even mention that the link for this music video is down in the description. Go check out his YouTube channel, subscribe, drop him a comment on that video when you check it out. Let him know you came from here. For this video, every single scene is in one location. <laughs> One location, all of these scenes, all these different looks in this music video were shot five feet away from each other in one location. If you're shooting a run gun music video, try to pull up a little bit early and just scout and just look and think about how you can make this one location look like as many different locations as you can. You could do that by switching up the focal length, switching up the lighting, switching up the angle. These are the three things that you need to keep in mind to maximize your space. For this music video, I only had one idea in mind and everything other than that was me just looking around maximizing the space trying to figure out how i can make it look different so maximize your space yo just dropping in really quick make sure you guys check out my digital store it's let's in there it's transitions in there for your upcoming projects and it's also kits in there to help better display your work on instagram it's going to be a link down in the description use code for the low to get 15 percent off your purchase all right back to the video and the good thing about running on music videos is you have no expectations, you know, so you could be completely open to any idea that comes your way. Now with this music video, I knew I wanted to put these Astera tubes on an arch that we built out of PVC pipe. If you're interested in how we did this, there's gonna be a link in the description to take you over to Creative Ryan's channel. I'm not sure if the video will be up by the time this one's up, but he's gonna publish a full BTS on how he created this PVC pipe and how we wrapped it in black and did all the stuff that we did to make it. That was the only thing that I knew I wanted to do for this music video. Everything other than that that you see is me just being completely open to whatever idea came my way. My help on set, Creative Ryan, visual artist Jay Kosh, Paulus, shout out to those dudes. But they were throwing me ideas left and right for the music video. After we finished that one scene that I knew I wanted to do, they were like, oh, we should do it this way. Or what do you think about this? This, that, that. And I'm just being all ears because like I said, I have absolutely no idea what I want to do because it's a running on video. So be open to ideas. Sometimes the artist throws out a dumb idea that you might think isn't that cool. But if you can approach it from a standpoint of being versatile and being uh, improv improvisive. Bruh. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> approach it from a place of improvising. What 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 was I even trying to say? <laughs> if you can improvise on an idea that you don't think is that great and think about how you can make it good, you could come up with a dope run and gun music video. That's one thing that you can absolutely plan for. You could listen to the song a million times and you could come up with a shooting technique to match the tempo, to match the swag, the feel of the song. If the song is super hype, you're not gonna wanna shoot every single scene static on a tripod. And if the song is super chill, you're not gonna wanna shoot every single shot, high shutter speed, rocky handheld. You know, you gotta film for the feel of the song. So that's one tip that can greatly help you with running on music videos. That's it, those are my five tips. If you have any other ones, drop me one down in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you at all, drop me a like and a comment takes no time all right if you're new to the channel and you like this type of content consider hitting that subscribe button but with that being said y'all i'm out peace